All right, what do we got here? No, I can't climb those. I thought I might be able to climb those. Get to the goal without dying. Oops, you failed. But you always wonder where my name comes from. Um, it's Ger It's actually German for old wooden ship. Yeah. Of course, means whale's vagina. <laughs> What am I doing there? What is the problem? Does this level not work? Is my name a randomly generated EverQuest name? Mm, maybe. Or my EverQuest name was Doja Smoking Pimp because I was 14. Have I gone back to play EQ now? It's rough. Dude, it was rough back then. EverQuest game's hard. Shit. 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 I was maybe a bit more of a closet nerd. Like, I didn't tell anyone that I played Magic, but I definitely, when I saw people playing Magic, and they sucked, I would definitely go up to them and be like, yo, your deck's garbage. Too many high mana costs. You need to round out that mana curve. Get your shit together. And spin jump. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Yeah, I mean, now you can... Now, like, gaming's just cool. Not that gaming wasn't cool before, but, like, now it's, like... You're a teenage boy now, and you don't have Pokemon cards? What, you don't have a collection of Pokemon cards? Pokemon isn't really considered cool. Mm, eBay tells me different. Maybe you're not cool. Yeah. Maybe everyone at your high school thinks you suck. Is you don't have any Pokemon cards. They banned magic cards in your high school? We didn't have that problem. Alright. I just found out that all the 90s basketball cards I had that I thought were completely worthless have just shot up in price like the last like couple years and now I want to go through them all. But then also like the amount of going through basketball cards seems overwhelming. Hearthstone club at school to get it unbanned on the Wi-Fi. I gotta admit that's a pretty fucking genius move right there. You're gonna go places, kid who did that. Like, you're gonna go places. When's the appropriate age to stop hacky sacking? I think it would directly be related to the amount of, of bong rips you're taking. I was in a buddy's car where we got sideswiped at a light. Um, actually, he might be in chat right now on the way to go bowling in college. That was probably, like, the worst wreck I've been in. Um, but, I mean, like, I was fine. Like, no injuries or anything. That was, like, probably, like, the only really legitimately scary one. It was a 92 Sedan Deville soft top color Merlot. And there's a lot of levels. There's an astronomical amount of levels here.
I always wanted to put some some uh, spokes on it, but never got the chance. Uh, Mario went to the Bahamas in this hack. That was the first car I bought. My first car was a 79 Oldsmobile Tornado with like 400,000 miles on it that I got for like a couple hundred bucks. And then we sold for like 60. And that thing, that thing was a piece though. That thing fucking sucked. Yo, I mean, A, it was like pure, pure American steel. It, it was a two door, but you could comfortably, easily get into the back door or get into the back seat from the front door. Like, nothing had to move. So, like, these seats were gigantic. Yeah, these seats were just like absolutely gigantic. Or these doors, sorry. Like, I couldn't, if the door was fully open, I had to, like, get out to close it. Like, if it fully swung open, I had to, like, physically, like, I couldn't reach over. It was too big. I had to physically step my foot out to do it. It had power windows, which, like, cool, right? A 79 with power windows. But no joke, they were so strong, they would they would cut off your hand. And it had only, like, two options, like, up or down. Because you could not hold it soft enough to only go one way. It was, oh my god, this thing was terrifying. It had... It's it's clock was it had an analog clock. That sh that should show you what kind of car it was. But it sure made me appreciate my second car. You know what I mean? An anal I know I had, that was the first time. I mean like that was the first time I had ever seen an analog clock in a car. I think. Okay, we won. We got it. We got it. Oh, shit. Fancy cars have analog clocks. This is not a fancy car. Like, old people fancy, like Bentleys and shit. Oh, I see what I need to do. I don't see what I need to do. I couldn't imagine, like... I get car people, but man, cars are, cars are, that's a, that's an expensive rabbit hole of a hobby. You know, that's a rough hobby. That's an expensive ass hobby. Like gaming, gaming's not a cheap hobby. Gaming is nothing compared to car hobby. Boats are worse? Ooh, yeah, boats are definitely worse. I would agree with that. Owning a plane's even worse? Ooh, no, see, I think owning a plane makes way more sense than being a boat guy. Because you're not taking your fucking boat you know, your boat's not saving you any time. Like, you're, you're like, boat's literally luxury. Like, you could plane, you could have a plane be like a luxury vehicle and have a purpose. You know what I mean? Like, if I was just a pilot and I could just like pop on down wherever I wanted to go whenever, I think that has a large amount of convenience attached to it. A boat is like the only convenience it has attached to it is it's people want to party on it oh fuck you oh that was a bullshit troll that was a good troll a seaplane seaplanes are fucking sick i have mad respect for seaplanes Tailspin style, damn straight. We were all thinking the same show.
Asshole. You know what made that troll so good was the stairs, because by the time it went, it started going, I was already falling down the stairs, so I didn't have enough time. I don't think I'm ever gonna have the money to bust out a seaplane either, no. But if I was going if I was going to do that, I'd rather have a seaplane. Certainly not a boat. Sticky ceilings, not only does Mario stick, but if you throw a shell up, it will stick too. Okay. Uh, no, I've only been in a helicopter once, and it was the um, Red Bull Trick helicopter, actually. And I'm not gonna. This is not a joke. I've said this before on stream. Is the absolute coolest experience of my life. And oh wait, what the hell happened there? And um, ten for ten would do it again and would love to learn how to fly a helicopter because of it. We did like backflips and barrel rolls and like free dives and a bunch of other shit. And it was all supposed supposed to be for a a um Oh shit. Like some content, but the GoPro got stolen out of someone's car, so I never got any of the footage of it, but it was the coolest thing I've ever fucking done. Like, it was so sick. I was super terrified going into it, and then, like, after, like, the guy who was doing it, like, I could plainly tell that, like, what we were about to do was utterly, insanely boring to him. Like, he was like, oh yeah, I'll take you up. I will guess I'll, I'll do the backflip, we'll do the barrel roll, we'll do the backflip barrel roll combo. Yeah, we'll do it all, don't worry, you know, like, it was like what a shell jump is for me. It was him flipping a fucking helicopter, you know? Actually, I wouldn't even say that because he's never fucked up doing it. And I fuck up shell jumps all the time. Yeah. Did I hurl? No, it was super, it was super nice and casual. You don't even feel like you're doing anything. Like it literally doesn't feel like you're even flipping. You're just kind of like in the helicopter. Yeah. Shell jump IRL, that would hurt turtles. What do I think the helicopter guy does for adventure? You know, I, I thought about that. I was like, what do you do? Like, how do you get your adrenaline pumping when doing a backflip in a helicopter? Doesn't do it for you. Wait, how am I, what am I supposed to do there? Okay. 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 Damn it. I made total shell jumps during this hack? A lot. I... Th Honestly, the only real issue I have with this hack is that because all the levels are done by different creators, like, rope acts differently on this level than it did on a previous level. And, like, so things like that are, like, a little disjointed. Oh, I need to get that, Yoshi. Okay, I got it. Things like that are just a little disjointed, I'd say. Um, but honestly, I think this hack's pretty fucking good. I, I know it didn't get, like, a lot of love when it came out. A lot of people did not like this hack, but I really dig this hack. But I'm probably one of the, like, I'm probably more into shell levels than a lot of, uh, or a lot of Mario players. I, I just still really dig them, yeah. Yeah, the background's dope. Damn it. I also don't get, I'm not getting any thumb pain too, which some people get thumb pain for shell shit. No, come on. 
This compared to Sheffy? I like Sheffy better, but... Sheffy 2 is, like, super, super hard. And this is not super duper hard. It's hard, like, don't get me wrong, but it's not super duper. You bitch. Do I feel like speedrunning any new hacks? No, but I've been speedrunning Grandpa World um, too lately. Yeah. And it's been really fun. I've had a really, really, really good time with it. Hey, Shadow Chan. That's fine. Do I think I can get world record in Grand Pooh World 2 again? Um, probably not. No, not with the amount of time I'm willing to put into it. But I do think I can get... I do think I can get sub 50, which is my goal. I think about running Invictus again. Um, no, I, I, I don't know if Invictus is something I really want to run again. I definitely want to play through it a few more times, but, um, e even when Invictus came out, I only speed ran it a handful of times. What am I doing there? up there what did i do wrong what about the level creating challenge from carl well i mean it i i talked about this before but it's just really hard to create like a troll level for carl because he's all the best troll levels from the best troll level creators and i am not that Oh, shit. Oh, this is hard. Uh, so he would, like, know all my shit. And then also, I would have to play his rebate level, which... He would probably... He would probably make... Way faster than I did. And, um... I don't know. Maybe when Mario Maker 3 comes out. I'm clearly not doing this part right. You know what? That seems to make a lot more sense than what I was doing. Fuck me. <gasps> Fuck me. Live music is probably the thing I miss the most, yeah. I had tickets for Rage Against the Machine. And then me and my wife usually do a, a festival where we did before the kid. Wait, what do I want to do? Oh, damn. Fuck me. What's the band I've seen the most live? Uh, The Roots, and it's not even close. I've seen The Roots probably like, I don't know, 10 or 11 times. Uh, Not, oh, like, I love The Roots, I would never miss a show, and they just played a lot of shows in my area around college time, so. <gasps> I've seen Outcast Live, yeah. When I saw Outcast Live, same stage, we had Fits in the Tantrums, The Roots, Lionel Richie, oh shit, and then Outcast, back to back to back, same stage. At that uh, Life is Beautiful festival. It was legitimately the most ridiculous, insane collection of artists. Like, it, it just like hit everything I wanted to do. I was like, you are all fucking awesome. Oh, hey. What are we doing here?
No. That was wild. Yeah, that was a cool little boss. I prefer Jaguar Wright or Jill Scott as a singer of the roots. Uh, yo, Jill Scott is like one of my favorite all-time artists, so I will never talk bad about Jill Scott. Ever. Orb, by the way. Literally never talk bad about Jill Scott. All right, what's up here? Dude, there's a lot of levels left. Have I played this level yet? All right, we got to finish the rest of this hack. I don't think there's many levels left. Okay, no. Wait, what the fuck? What is going on here? I don't know, I'm so confused. It's an evil shell? Okay, so can I spin jump on it? I can. I can spin jump on it. Alright, I get it. I just have the Grand Poo World splits up. Because I was playing Grand Poo World last. Oh! Oh! That was a lot of good first tries. You had an awesome Tuesday once? I like Tuesdays. Tuesdays um, are fun for me. I have a... We have a... That's been Warp World's meeting day for years. I should have spin jump. Okay. Tuesday's the worst day because it's a reminder that it's a long week. No, Monday's the worst day. Alright, running, we're running, we're running, we're running. Wait. That sucked. Wait, did that say Jakku? <laughs> did that say Jakku for some reason? Here you throw the shell, Jakku? Oh, Jiku. It's just funny that they're using, like, they put a full sentence right there. Oh my god. Fishing shell jumps in 2021? It's what happens when I play a lot of Mario Maker and Mario World combined. My shell jumping gets bad in both of them. That's, that's a true story. I've talked a lot about that, actually. That's, like, the only thing that I really struggle with doing both this looks intense i like shell hacks so oh wait i thought that was the one <laughs> it look loose and limber i did some stretching this morning you know did a little bit of working out i didn't do, i didn't do a full even a full set just a little bit it's enough you know make me not feel like the laziest piece of shit around it was good Yeah. You had a no pixel dream last night? I'd be lying if I said I. Ooh. Didn't. If I, I'd be lying if I said I didn't go to sleep thinking about no pixel. Oh. Am I gonna live? That was an interesting end. Alright. That was a cool level. Another cool level. This level has motor skills and shell regrabs enabled. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. There's a lot going on in this. That, that got a lot harder way faster. I'm, this is going to take me a minute to figure this out, chat. The motor skills and, um... The shell regret. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, so I can't, when I'm holding the shell, I can't switch back to not spin. Like, I can't s motor skills while I'm not holding the shell. Okay, so I want to, like, drop it. Yeah. This level is horrendous. Okay, and then I gotta drop it and then re-catch it and then do the same thing again. And then do it again. I mean, is that that's the only thing I can think of to do. It just seems like it's happening so fast. Like I have no time. Oh, okay, that's probably easier, isn't it? Okay, that's that. You know what? That makes more sense. This level just has a lot going on. Oh my god. This is rough. This is this is both rough and is going to look fucking awesome when we're done. This is going to be fucking sick. I'm excited. I'm actually excited about this level. Damn, that's tough. How does the regrabbing work? I just hold the shell. I just hold the button and it magically regrabs. <laughs> that was that was silly. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do right there. I think you're supposed to spin jump through them. You got to press a lot of different buttons at weird times in this level. Yeah, this is a this is a grind level chat. We might be here for uh Oh shit. Oh, I had it. That was it. That was it. Damn it, I had it. Okay, this is not We got this. Yeah, we got this. My voice sounds deeper on stream than YouTube. Yeah, my voice sounds deeper on stream than in YouTube videos. Yeah, you know, I'm just uh, more manly on stream than YouTube. Oh, I need that shell is the problem. Okay, well, I mean, yo, I need that saw to be a little bit early. I'm going uh, or a little bit later. No, wait, a little bit quicker. That's what I need. I need the saw to be quicker. Just making sure I'm pronouncing that right. Damn it. Dude, it's way too slow. I mean, I guess I could go maybe a little bit slower on the rock. That's what we should have done. That's gonna be in the YouTube video. That was a fucking good level. Yeah, that was a good level. I don't know where else I'm going. I don't know where else I'm going here. Oh, is this just warps to different worlds? Okay, on the overworld. Alright, so this I think is the last level in the game then. This is our last level. This is it, baby. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, I love levels like this, chat. This is this is my shit. Yeah, my overworld broke. So I can't tell like which levels I beat. 
and which levels I didn't. But they, luckily they have an explore mode. It's like they knew that was gonna happen. That the overworld could break. Uh, what do you need to know about No Pixel to get up to speed if you've never seen it before? It's a Grand Theft Auto roleplay server that is everyone on there is playing a character and you can't break character no matter what. And there's lots of jobs you can do, both illegal and legal. All the there's 106 people on the server. The police are all real. I'd say at any given time, out of the 160 people on the server, probably like. 50 of them are working jobs of some sort. Whether that's doctors or bartenders or whatever. Damn it. So we gotta throw it up, I think. Oh, what are my thoughts on Adderall and Sp Speedrunning? I don't know. I've never taken Adderall um, in my life, not even in college, where most of the kids take it. Uh, also, like, I I don't know anyone. I don't know. I don't, I don't know people that are taking performance names and drugs. I mean, I know it happens in like CS:GO and a lot and everything, but I mean, to be honest with you, speedrunning is such a like. We only get together a couple times a year. We're not doing tournaments and shit like that. It's not like as competitive things like that but I mean I think that's I don't know I, I have no knowledge about that subject so I can't say anything about it does that make sense oh shit and then you want to split those two that was cool Oh, okay, and then I want to keep going right. Ah, come on. May, perhaps that's not the one I'm supposed to hit. And I'm supposed to hit the back one. That maybe I'm not supposed to hit the front one. Damn it. happened there all right hear me out like something like more like that where I grab one and throw it after I hit off that mm. now, I now I don't know if that's right either though do I think we'll ever get an OT remake on switch um I mean I hope so I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you they could remake OT every five years with updated graphics and technology and I would fucking slurp that shit up. I'd buy it every goddamn time. OT's a great video game. Now I think I do go, now I think I do just go right. I think the thing I was trying at the very beginning might be the right thing. Is that weird? Oh, it was, that was the right move. Oh my God. Oh shit. The ferret with 10 gifts. What the dick? I'm about to beat it this life right here. Oh, I called it. Called it! It's like I'm fucking psychic. <laughs> oh wow, okay, I have no idea what's going on here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you create content. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what to do here. Okay, I am sure what to do here. I'm gonna beat it, works 60% of the time every time, pretty much. 
Ooh. Oh, butt face. That's a tough uh, jump. Like the no, the no jump shell jumps. Those are always hard. Yeah, in my opinion. What's the hype business? Okay, the hype train is a way that Twitch cons viewers into giving more money to streamers, thus more money to Twitch, you know, because we split the money um, in a... Oh, damn it! Anyway, the scam, the scam, <coughs> sorry, scam train, sorry, <coughs> scam, <coughs> hype train from Twitch is a uh, way to judge how hype the stream is currently going, right? And the way hype is in that factor is, um, you know, by subs and gift subs and bits and things like that. Somehow the scam feels less scammy when you tell people about it. Does that make sense? We're all aware. Everyone's aware of it, but it is. It's still, I don't know. But that's kind of everything, right? Couldn't you say the same thing? Really? About, you know, like a music festival. Wait, what do I want to do there? Oh my god, I have no idea what's going on in this. Oh no! Come on, Shell! Be there! Be there! Damn. Shitty part of my job is how long it'll last. You know what, dude? It's already lasted way longer than I thought it would. When I went full-time, I thought I'd be full-time for six months. Oh, and then I need a small one. Service industry is the worst job. Yeah, I, I would... I hated serving tables. I mean... There were parts... I liked the people that I worked with a lot. Oh my god! This is a level. No, I don't have any problem. Like, uh, people that have been safe, be safe. You know what I mean? I, I think everyone has, like, what do I want to say? The risks they've had to take over the last year to keep themselves sane. No! And for some of the people, that's eating out. For me, I'm lucky. I never, we, ha we haven't, we, I haven't gone to a restaurant in. Since last February. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. DoorDash is not cheap, dude. DoorDash is not. Thank you for playing. You're welcome. GG. Yeah, everyone's got the things they have to do. Uh, to keep themselves sane. We, we, I mean, we, we planned to, you know, we had to meet a friend in the middle. You know what I mean? And even that was risky. Is that all of them? Dude, that was a great level, though. I liked that level a lot. I like shell stuff, though. Like, I'm, I think I'm always going to be, I don't know. I like item abuse stuff. I, I do really enjoy that shit. I like tricks with shells. They're fun. They're moving fast. It just looks cool. Does that make sense? Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel out. See you next time.